It will be showcased to local media at the Hak Skien Ban for the first time. The car will be used to set a world land speed record of 1,600 kilometers per hour at the Pan next year. This week, the car will do its high speed test of 800 kilometers per hour with its driver, Andy Green. The project has had its fair share of problems being hit by delays and almost folding. But last December, a British entrepreneur, Ian Warhurst, saved the project from bankruptcy. They will attempt to break the land speed record, which currently stands at 763 uh, mph. SABC News reporter Ulrich Hendricks joins us live now. Ulrich, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Is that the car in the background? Ulrich is here. I am here. Can you hear me? Ulrich, uh, it's been a long time coming, so it looks like uh, uh, the project is uh, online to happen now. No, you don't have to go to Toyota. Yeah, Desiree, we actually dark skin pun now, and we actually seeing the first visuals of the blood on um, land speed record car. Of course, it is here at Axiom Pan, um, where it will attempt uh, during this uh, high-speed testing. Uh, they will attempt during this month to go at the speed of around 800 kilometers an hour. Um, they're just busy uh, dragging the car out. Um, quite a number of them. This is actually the first time we in South Africa are laying our eyes uh, on the Bloodhound Supersonic car. It has done a test of up to 200 kilometers at, in the UK, but that was on tar and um, they couldn't go because it's a jet engine that is uh, in that car. And you, you have all sorts of situations in terms of, of stability that they need to, to, to look at. So um, this pan here at Axiom Pan is actually one of the, the best, as they say, because it, it's very compact um, and it will allow the, speed, the, the car to drive um, at, at speeds of, of 800 kilometers an hour for, for this year and hopefully at around 1,600 kilometers uh, an hour when they return for the record attempt next year. Remind I just our look viewers. at the size of that car. Ulrich, let's just remind our viewers, uh, the car itself has been tested in the UK, but the ideal environment was uh, at Huxkian Park Ban in the, in the Northern Cape. Let's just remind our viewers about uh, the history and the kind of work that the Northern Cape government has done to prepare the surface for this project. Yeah, well, it's been around 10 years that they have been preparing for uh, the, the blood run to come to South Africa and to Axiom Pan in particular. Um, just to give you an idea that um, because this car will travel at such high speeds, so any sort of um, thing on the pan, whether it's a, a little bottle or a little stone, will of course make it unstable and it could have an accident. So they had to to uh, get people, uh, it's about 600 of them over the over the 10 year period, to come and pick up uh, the stones. So uh, individual stones, I think it's about 30 tons of stones that they actually have picked up on this pan. Uh, so far, just to make it um, uh, stable for the car when it co when it does do those high speed high speed tests, uh, the, the the area that they cleared is around 20 kilometers um, um, that the, the racetrack will be, and its width is about a kilometer. So it's quite a huge um, uh, a huge area. And of course, then um, every year the, the, the pan it rains here in the northern Cape at Axiom Pan. Uh, it actually does rain in the northern in the, in the Kalari uh, once in a while and it actually fills up this pan and then you have to wait about three months uh, for that water to drain down and then the, 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 the people from the area will have to come again and then uh, clean the clean the pan again so just break down for us what is happening actually today as those people are trying to push the car what what is that activity for 
Okay, so they basically launching it. Like I said earlier, it's the first time that we will be able to that we seeing the car. Um, so, so it, today is the official launch of the Bloodhounds record attempt or the high speed test here in South Africa. Um, they unveiling the car. It's like the first time that a number of these stakeholders and especially the people who have uh, done that back. Uh, breaking painstaking task of clearing the pan will actually have a chance to to, to look at it what they'll also do um, later um, just after the, the the official stuff has been concluded is that they will then do a dry crank uh, so they'll start up the car more or less and they will then um, they will then um, basically give us just a little taste of what the car will sound like once it, it is um, once it, it, it has started and then um, either tomorrow or on Wednesday that's when high speed testing will actually will actually start uh, so you'll have a, um, you'll have um, um, them going at um, uh, hopefully around 200 kilometers an hour and they'll then um, increase the speed by uh, 50 kilometers an hour after every attempt but they you know the the, the the big thing here is also they they know that the car can potentially go at 800 kilometers an hour for this for this high speed testing and they know it might even go at 1600 kilometers an hour uh, for for the next um, uh, for the next uh, test uh, next year but the big issue is actually to get this uh, this car once it has reached 800 kilometers an hour or once it has reached 1600 kilometers an hour to actually stop because they need at least around 10 kilometers just to get the car to stop uh, you can you can just imagine the speed at which this car uh, is going um, um, it's 1800 kilometers Kilometers an hour is it's, it's a very high speed, and 1,600 kilometers is like very high speed. So what they'll do is, um, if the camera person can just pan to the left there, that it will just have a look at the track. That is the track that's around uh, 20 kilometers. So hopefully uh, around halfway they'll reach the, speed, the desired speed, and then they'll have to to, to to look at the brakes. So much of these uh, high speed tests uh, that they're going to do over the next month uh, will be looking at how to break safely. Desiree? Ulrich coming to us uh, from uh, the Northern Cape. Quite an exciting milestone, that Bloodhound project that has been spoken about for quite a while. We're going to close the show now, but I'm just going to close off with some tweets in terms of the conversation we're having about Herman Mashaba's resignation. Joan Mbele saying it spells big trouble for the DA, especially in Gauteng. Uh, again saying NC Lutus are now happy my heart is bleeding Zabino Marelli saying I vehemently believe that he made the right decision